But next, for children living with sight loss, there are, as you might imagine, extra challenges. Uh, the charity Vision Norfolk supports more than 4,000 visually impaired people in the county every year, including hundreds of children. For World Sight Day, Ravina Gatura has spoken to a group of young people who are determined to break down barriers and encourage others to follow their dreams. Hi, my name is Marcus, I'm 13 and I suffer from a retinal detachment, which I was not born with. Marcus doesn't remember life before sight loss. It happened when he was seven. He had leukaemia and was placed in a coma. When he woke up, he couldn't see. We didn't know I was blind until the doctor came and told us. But now that I've got sight loss, I have all the support that I really need to help me. I didn't understand what it was and I just thought it was normal. The charity Vision Norfolk helps thousands of people feel normal. More than 35,000 people are living with some degree of sight loss in the county. Around 500 of them are children. My son is vision impaired and he says to me that I like my friends and I really get on with my friends, but my vision impaired friends just get me. And that's what it's all about, really. Um, being with people that understand. Some of the parents have said it was a lifeline to us, being able to just talk to other families. Hi, I'm Ronnie, I'm 16 and I've had glaucoma since I was born, which means I have two centimetres of vision in my left eye and pretty much no vision in my right eye. Growing up with a visual impairment was tough for Ronnie, but now he's doing his A-levels and training with Team GB's triathlon squad, inspired to follow in the footsteps of our Paralympians. People are actually scared to talk to you because they're like, what, well, you might be different. They see you as really different compared to you. Um, like when I was first at school, no one really talked to me apart from people who I had like made an effort to talk to. You look at when people were born, they, I was told I couldn't read or write, and then I'm thinking, wow, imagine if I could get to the Paralympics or become a lawyer. That would be something that no one would have ever expected. I just want to inspire people to show that they can do what they want to do, that nothing can really get in your way. Hi, my name is Bonnie, I'm seven years old and I have an eye condition in my left eye. I can see properly in my right eye, I can't really see as well as usually. Bonnie is a bundle of energy. She loves dancing, music and playing football and doesn't let her visual impairment stop her from doing anything. I really like to be a footballer and when I grow up I also want to be a footballer so I can show that anyone can do things. They just need, might have to do it a different way. It isn't a disability, it's a new ability. Living with sight loss can be an isolating experience but the vision here is to offer encouragement and support that can make a huge difference to young lives. Ravina Gatora, ITV News, Norwich. All amazing, and Bonnie's absolutely right. It's a new ability. Great, I've never Brilliant. heard it put that way before. Bonnie's going to be a professional footballer, mm -hmm. definitely.